We are going through downtown Oakland, California, just west of Lake Merritt, on our way to what is self-described as a permanent pop-up, a place called Aburaya Fried Chicken, which shows up evenings, I believe, uh, Wednesday through the weekend. And what it specializes in is tori no karaage, Japanese fried chicken. Now, Japanese fried chicken is a little bit different from what you and I might ordinarily associate with fried chicken in the United States, the very crusty, breading-heavy fried chicken that we know and love, granted, because we all love fried chicken. It is done commonly in Japan in izakayas, which are drinking establishments where they also serve food that you can eat. I'm fine, how are you? I'm great, can I have a name for your order? Lucas. Lucas, are you ordering for here to go? I'm gonna eat it here. Awesome. What can I do for you tonight, well, Lucas? I'm gonna get an eight piece. Can you educate me a little bit about these seasonings? My favorite go-to is the barbecue. It goes the best with our homemade miso ranch that already comes with your chicken. Let's do that. I am okay. I am in your hands. Anything else? Yeah, I'd like to try uh, the seaweed salad. Awesome. And then maybe one more thing. Just straight up fried avocado. Is that pretty good? It's really, it's good. Yeah, let's try that too. Okay. And then that'll be more than enough. Awesome. Let's just add you up and we can have you on your way. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? I would probably be a cat. Well, now, now sushi's all over the places. Right. So I wanted to do something different. We even have a hashtag on our Instagram photo. That's hashtag we don't have sushi. It's not sushi. Yeah. <laughs> what can we make it easier for the people to understand what it is yeah. and can be popular? Fried chicken, damn. Everybody <laughs> loves fried chicken. Everybody loves fried chicken. Yeah, so I use this little fermented rice mixture called shiokoji. Mm -hmm. So that tenderizes the meat. Any mirin or sake or? Mirin has lots of sugar. Mm -hmm. And most of the mirin made in the United States has corn syrup. Corn syrup, okay. Corn syrup. Touching on the healthy part, uh, the chicken, even though it's super crispy, isn't breaded. So that's part of why it is also healthier than most fried chicken. Okay, so it doesn't have that heavy breading, but there is, it's just a little bit of potato starch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is super cool, and I want to eat some chicken. We are. We have fried chicken and more. Does everyone love seaweed salad? Maybe. Let's get in here and see what we've got. I love a good seaweed salad. This is nice, really incorporating the salad portion into the seaweed. So what's nice about the seaweed, it kind of pops in your mouth, you know? They're kind of juicy, little plump little things that when you bite them, it really, uh, there's really a lot of flavor in the seaweed that I really like. It has that kind of brininess of the ocean and like a pleasingly slimy texture. So I enjoy seaweed salad a lot. Fried avocado. Half of an avocado, obviously, that has been emptied out, covered in panko breadcrumbs, deep fried, and then filled with what appears to be like a kewpie mayo. I'm gonna dip this chunk. This avocado is great. Nice and crispy on the outside from the, from the breading coating. It has that Smooth, creamy avocado on the inside, of course. Very well done, not overly fried. It just looks like it's just like flash fried, real quick. Like you would fry ice cream or something like that. And then the sort of creamy, citrusy kewpie mayo. It tastes like kewpie mayo that's, that's had like orange zest or something added to it. It's nice. Kewpie mayo, for those of you who don't know, is MSG, MSG mayo. MSG, eat it. I spent a lot of time talking about these appetizers. We haven't even gotten onto the fried chicken, which is what we're here for. So let's do that right now. Half of it is uh, sort of a Japanese take on a barbecue sauce, but with maybe a little more soy sauce, maybe a little bit of sriracha. On the other side is uh, more of a dry seasoning, a little bit of nori, a little bit of orange zest, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of chili pepper. Tori no karaage, which is, I think how you say chicken, fried chicken in Japanese. It's a very light fry. He talked about it being quote unquote healthy. I don't know how healthy it is. But it might be, in fact, a good deal more healthy than fried chicken that has heavy breading, which is traditionally what we think of it uh, when we have fried chicken in the United States. 
And he said he doesn't really use a marinade, which is also sort of unique with Japanese fried chicken because typically with the Japanese fried chicken, you'd expect five pieces, which we have, but that it would be marinated in mirin, which is a rice wine, sake, sugar, ginger, garlic, salt and pepper. But he says he doesn't do the marinade because he thinks there's too much sugar in the mirin and in the sake. I believe he said he does like a shio koji. If you've had miso soup, if you've had soy sauce, if you've had sake, you've had koji. And koji is the mold asparagus orze. Forgive me if I'm not getting the Latin right. And what it does is it adds a savory depth of flavor to many foods. Again, the word umami is commonly used to describe the, the flavor that koji adds to food. Very tender, the thigh is very juicy. The sauce is sweet. It tastes in some ways like a barbecue sauce, but it has a little more spice to it. And it tastes like maybe it has like a little, like, like a little bit of sriracha, that kind of heat to it. So you can sort of taste the citrus zest on the outside of it sort of the juicy chickenness of this particular, of this second option, comes through a little more because it's not covered in sauce. You've got garlic, you've got chili flakes, you've got a little bit of that citrus zest on the outside. And then just that, just like a very, like a hint of a coating on the outside of this chicken. It allows the chicken really to sort of sing, as it were, because you're not taking a bite and getting a mouthful of bread in. And you can see it, you can see the chicken very clearly. It's, it's a very, very light coating of potato starch. This is a really cool place to eat and to like drink. It seems like it attracts a lot of locals. You know, I get the impression that people here didn't think they'd have this kind of success, which is always nice when people don't go out searching for accolades and money and success, and then they kind of stumble upon it just because they're making a good product. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Aburaya fried chicken in Oakland, California. And if you'd like to watch more, please click here.